Oh, what's going on YouTube? Today in this video, I'm gonna take you along with me a screen printer for a clothing brand from start to finish. In this video, we're doing a one color screen print in the front, one color screen print in the back, and even personalized neck tags. So make sure you tune in. What's going on YouTube? My name is Bobby Kanak, and I am the owner of Aesthetic Imprints, which is a custom apparel printing company based out of my parents' basement. In this video, like I said, I take you along with me a screen printer for a clothing brand from start to finish. So let's jump right in. You guys know what's going on. Another day, another print project. Let's get this video rolling. All right, let's dive right into this. We're printing three locations. This is the neck tags, and this is the left chest, and this is just the center back. I'm gonna actually mix these two on the same screen just because they're small and I know I can handle it in the same screen. So let's tape this right up, get the tape. If you guys hear all those hammers and clanging and banging, Ignore it. We're getting our hardwood floors installed upstairs, so they're just at it. Um, and yeah, I mean, if you don't, if you're new here, this is a home base shop, so we are operating out of a house. Get that right there. And if you're wondering, I am using a 156 mesh for this. Get that on there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get this aligned. Wow, they're loud. I'm sorry about that. Still wanted to get this video out for you all. Now what I do is take it to the exposure unit, put the pad down, put pressure onto the screen, and expose. Now we bring the screen to the washout booth, spray it, and rinse it with water first. sit for a couple seconds just let the water soak into the emulsion as you can see slowly it starts falling off itself Uh, it's not connected. All right, now I'm going to just blow the fan on it. And now we got our neck tag. Both sides. I expose just two to three seconds less than what I would on a regular screen because this is a 220. Um, it's actually it's a 230, so it's it's a yellow mesh. Everything exposed perfectly. Now here's the shirts we're printing today. I know you're wondering what is this in a shopping bag for. Um, the client actually provided these shirts. These are the, I've printed on these before in a past video with the skeletons in it. Um, these are root porter, 100% cotton, boxy t-shirts. These are very boxy. 
every streetwear person, everybody loves these t-shirts. They feel amazing. So only only bad part for us screen printers is each shirt comes individually packed, so I gotta pop them all open. But I'm gonna do this and get back to you guys. What's up, y'all? Right now, I'm just mixing up the ink. The client wanted a lime green. It's like a neonish green ink and then like a lighter purple. So I'm just mixing that up with him, going back and forth with him. But right when this is done, we're going to go right to the print press. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got our screens right here. I'm going to go ahead and load it up onto the press while I wait for their response from the, for the inks. And this is actually the neck tag. Let's tape this up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's the green we're printing. I got it mixed up. Client agreed on this. We're printing like a lime green. I got this mixed up. Added yellow to make it more limey. Just gonna throw it on here. That's all we need. We don't need much. Now let's do a little test print just to make sure everything is going good. You know, you always, always should do a test print. Get some paint over here. Oh yeah, that green looks popping. Even on a black shirt. Da, 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 da. A couple seconds under the flash. See, right now it's getting on my hand. You don't want that to happen. I'm sorry, the lighting's bad. Let me turn this light. I forgot. There you go. So I guess my flash dryer just hasn't even heated up fully yet. Let's see. That's better. Nothing's getting on my hand. It's sticky. And I just float over the second print. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I mean, this is for a black shirt. And look at how bright that just turned out. Check that out. That's amazing. All right, you guys, it just came out the Calvera dryer. You wanna let it cool off for a second. Stretch test, everything is bright. As you can see, stretching that, nothing is happening. That means we're good to go on production. Sorry about the noise, I told you we got housework going on, but let's begin production. And just like that, the back print, I mean, the front print is done. Look at how clean and smooth that is. Now let's move on to the front print. Focus. Yeah. Now, you guys are probably wondering, how exactly am I going to do the other print if it's right there? Well, put your squeegee off to the side. This is how you save screen to be more efficient. All you do... Just turn that bad boy over. And you are ready to do the back print just like that. Now, only do this in some circumstances. This, it's perfect because they're both small. Doesn't get in the way too much. And yeah. So, I'm going to tape off these registration marks, do a test print, and then begin production. One tip I'm gonna give you is this is was the left chest print. This has ink all over it. When you go to do the front print now, now that you switched it, that print is gonna slam onto that. And when your shirt is on here, your shirt is gonna touch this ink and this ink is gonna ghost onto your shirt. So make sure you cover this up with tape, transparency film. I could just literally use one of these, just cover it up with tape so that that ink does not touch your shirt and mess up your shirts. I've learned this from experience. Now to do a test print on here, it's the same exact concept. I figured I'll just show you guys. I keep saying guys. I'm sorry if anybody gets offended by that. I don't mean to call everybody guys. I'm just used to saying guys. Um, I don't mean it as a, a guy, but I'm going to just start saying ladies and gentlemen. Um, 
So yeah, I'm sorry about that. That that looks so clean. This is like a streetwear brand. Um, and it's it's awesome. Um, this is one of my clients. Always orders one from me. Three thirty five hundred BK. He's just starting a new brand on his own, and he's collaborating with another brand right now. And this is coming out fire. So shout out to him. It's perfect. Alright y'all, now I'm going to show you guys how to wash this screen out because we are doing an ink swap. Turn the backlit light on. I'm going to spray it with water. Front and back. And then I'm going to spray my ink remover. All over it. And can't forget the squeegee. <laughs> Wear a mask. I'm not wearing it so I can so that you guys can hear me talk, but definitely wear a mask. Because this stuff is strong. And gloves. And then just let the chemical start doing its thing. And then you start scrubbing. And you get your little scrubber, get the right one, and you scrub. Work your way up from the bottom up because if you work from the bottom, the stuff is still working up here. Front and back. I had that thing on there still. Do the emulsion. I mean the squeegee. I get this thing from Walmart. It's a dollar. So why not? And then you rinse it off. See, it gets to being good as new. Same thing with the squeegee. And then you let this dry and switch the ink color and reprint it with the different ink color. I'm not going to show you guys me printing this because it's the same thing, but you guys get the gist of it. Alright, alright, you guys. Now I'm going to show you guys me printing the tag, which is basically the same concept. 
Just flood it, print, and boom, that looks amazing. That looks really good. Check these tags out. This looks insanely clean. This looks like bougie designer. I mean, tell me I'm wrong. With the tan shirts is done and the green on the purple shirts is done. All the shirts came out amazing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't fall now. Anyways, this turned out awesome. I'm waiting for the client to get a respond back because he did want these bagged, but I don't know if he's still doing that. So we'll see. And just like that, we got the shirts all folded and bagged up. These look clean and amazing. What the neck tags. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. These shirts turned out awesome, and we did go ahead and bag these up. Everything came out clean with the purple shadow, the neck tag, um, the screen print in the front, and then the back screen print, even the bags. These turned out awesome. And before anybody asks, I know you guys are curious what shirts these are. These are actually Rue Porter. They're from Portugal. These are 100% cotton. They feel amazing. If you're looking to start a streetwear brand and you want boxy t-shirts, this is definitely the boxy of the boxy. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Screen printed for a t-shirt brand from my basement. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash this subscribe button. Check out these videos and run those likes up and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and follow me on Instagram if you want to stay connected. I do post stories and everything daily at Aesthetic Imprint. Same thing as the channel. I'll see you in the next one.